Hello and welcome to the show. For this week's Fair Race versus the Community, we were going racing a single make race using the Porsche Cayman GT4. Now, unfortunately, more replay issues. Initially, I thought I had at least two replays working fine. Turned out on further inspection that uh, quite a lot of cars weren't loading. We had a lot of issues throughout the evening that we were filming this in which cars weren't appearing in the lobbies actually during the race for multiple people. And that seems to have affected the replays in that a lot of cars are missing and a lot of cars quite significant. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to go and try and find if we might have a working copy uh, with more cars spawned, so I'm having to use the uh, live recorded footage. Now, thankfully, in all of these races, I had a relatively busy time of it, thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly involved in all of the action. I had a weird issue with getting my car started for the first race, which meant I plummeted down the order. Uh, you will see various cars being spun around almost by invisible forces because some people just can't see other cars. I know for a fact I couldn't see two or three cars in this particular race. I don't think I took anybody out and you won't be able to see it because <laughs> it was being live done, but uh, I do apologise if I did. Either way, terrible start for me. It dropped me a long, long way down the order as we come through these uh, double A, well, it's kind of double apex, double corner at uh, the Yaz Marina South Circuit it is and nighttime more grip around here i uh couldn't really do much too much about making positions at this particular stage however a car running wide is always a good opportunity for me to try and find a way past a little bit of a uh, kiss on the wall less than ideal however got away with all of that and it wasn't long before i was starting to make up places the cayman not for everybody does suit my driving style quite well as we fly side by side through the opening chicane. I got the dive done initially under brakes, however the nature of this circuit it can at times be difficult to get that pass completed you know, with so many changes of direction, cars will be on the outside and the inside. The white and blue car tried to uh, fend me off, tried to fight back, couldn't quite make it work, although in all of that fighting he'd lose another position as uh, somebody has a fire up the inside ahead of me. There were three cars battling over this fourth place as I am forever looking at uh, trying to find ways past. Now the top three were making a breakaway. Uh, fourth place was struggling a little bit for pace in these cars. It's side by side up towards the final corner. I have a think about it. Can't quite do it. In the end I kind of jump across the inside so I allow for throttle briefly not to gain an advantage. Kind of chose to jump across the inside so that uh, I didn't end up running into the side of the grey car if you didn't quite realise where I was. Yeah, lift off the throttle. No advantage gained in all of that. I'm a fair way back. I've got to be a bit mindful actually of the cars behind having an attack into turn one. Relatively good under brakes from me. The grey car gets stacked up behind the vehicles ahead and once more I find myself doing the exact same thing, having to try to go around the outside on the hope that I can get to the inside for the fast double right, but couldn't quite do it. The blue and green car is now on my outside. It's a brave, brave car to try and stick it around there. He goes for it and I give him plenty of space out there to keep his Porsche in the end. He uh, just doesn't quite have the grip to make that one stick. Uh, while I was going up the inside, the grey car it would lag out. Um, it just kind of vanishes. Quite a scary thing. You're, you're, you know, racing wheel to wheel with somebody. You're up the inside and suddenly the car vanishes. Uh, you hope that it doesn't suddenly pop back into existence further down the line. But uh, yeah, a little bit unfortunate in all of that. We would then go for a few laps of not a huge amount happening. I was quicker than the cars behind. Quicker than the group ahead as well. But uh, it was only by a small margin, gradually catching this group of cars, and when one of the blue vehicles got himself in trouble across a curb, that's always, always going to be a lovely opportunity. The Cayman, as I said, I like to drive it. It suits my driving style. It can at times, especially sort of heavy acceleration as you bounce its way across a curb, it can get... Um, into a little bit of trouble. It almost feels like a rear engine Porsche in some ways, with the front end lifting up and carting the car off the track. It's easy to get it out of shape, basically, across some uh, heavy curbs. There was now going to be an almighty tussle for fourth. With that fourth place car really struggling for pace here, both me and the other blue vehicle keen to try and find ways past, but in doing that of course we kept compromising each other. We both wanted to be the one to get past fourth place and run away, but in trying to find a way past fourth we'd slow each other down and yeah, generally make a nuisance. I go for a very, very brave dive. There was space for a Porsche up the inside and I do get the car stopped. It's all done cleanly. Uh, great, uh, great respectful driving from everybody in this group. There was the odd little bit of trading of paint, but uh, we all were kind of ready to anticipate what each other were doing, and 
Yeah, there was a lot of uh, a lot of close action here as we head up towards the uh, final corner once more. There would be, of course, one more lap in the hope that the replays would work. We always run an extra lap to cool down lap so the replays don't bug out. So I had one more lap, one more chance, if you like, to try and find my way up into fourth place. It wasn't going to be easy, though. He was going very, very defensive on the way into the first corner. And I tried my luck around this outside line a few times. I continue to have a go but it is a difficult one to pull off. You can stay alongside all the way through those first chicanes, but then you're going to be hung out to dry here, and I didn't quite have the speed or the grip to make that one work. In the end, I have to yield and drop back into line, and the bigger problem, of course, that I was facing, I go too aggressive, trying to find a way past, I'm going to lose a place to the vehicle behind, because he is always there, always ready and waiting. The car ahead covers that inside line. Again, a kind of a dive, and I'm not close enough either to having a dive. I wanted to take a more natural racing line, but then realize just how close the vehicle behind me was and again I'm having to kind of half defend and half attack and that makes it all very very difficult the final opportunity up towards this last corner I can't quite get my vehicle positioned right I know I needed to have a big dive up the inside but uh, the car ahead does a great job of uh, covering off any sort of lines of approach that I might have and then the drag race towards the line well we're in equal cars and both of us equally compromised out of that final corner not much that uh, I could really do all in all, though, a lot of good fun racing, some good overtakes, and uh, yeah, some close wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. Impega would take a victory in this one. PTG Muri in second, Invisible AK in third. There was, again, plenty of close racing at the front of that uh, of that field. Unfortunately, <laughs> unable to, uh, to show it. Our second race, and we would head to the Nürburgring GP circuit. Now, this was set to be, I say set to be a wet race. It was going to start dry. There was a 40% chance of rain appearing later. We all run into this first corner. Everybody cleanly through. Everybody cleanly through that uh, turn one. I tried to get up the inside of the blue vehicle. Kind of ran him out a bit wide, but uh, he's still got a good enough run off of that corner. I'm looking again any which way I can find to get past. I can get a good run around this particular section. Again, I get a good run off of the corner, but it's just not quite it's not quite at the right time. I've not quite got the right positioning to really be able to use that mega run. And I hadn't driven the Cayman around this circuit. Still kind of learning braking points a little bit at this stage. While I go, I know what the car is roughly capable of, having driven it to other venues. Uh, here, it was a little bit of a learning experience and I was airing slightly on the side of caution. Behind in the rearview mirror, they were busy going side by side. The blue car ahead covers the inside into the hairpin. A wise move. I would have been happy to have a dive up the inside there. Actually overshoots the corner slightly. That gives me an opportunity on the exit. It is a very long way around that hairpin. I managed to keep my car there though and I'm on the inside on the way up towards the S's. The blue car just carries too much speed on the way in. Loses the back end slightly. Carts himself off onto the gravel and that will be a number of positions gone. I was though immediately under threat from a white Porsche who is having a look around the outside but again can't quite get the car slowed down can't quite get away with carrying that much speed out there ends up on the AstroTurf and would have to concede the position for now so I had a clear track ahead of me and was hoping I'd be able to pull a gap, although that wasn't to be as we headed into a turn one a couple of laps later. I was a little cautious on the brakes, the car behind, uh, a little brave. I saw what was going to happen, I could see him coming and was uh, keen to get out of the way, didn't want to get uh, nudged into that, but... Uh, in all of that uh, goings on, I end up out of position. I actually get a lot of uh, understeer at an inopportune moment, and I'm stuck on the outside. Not a position that I particularly want to be in. I had hoped I would have been able to hold it, hold it around the outside and get a good run down this uh, shorter straight, although that was not quite to be. The good news, for certainly for us too, was that even with our tussling and so on, we were quite a lot faster than the field behind. We pulled a pretty sizable gap early on, and while the field further back was squabbling for positions, we were able to run away as I continued to look for a way back past. Again, wasn't likely to go around the outside. I always knew that. It was more about trying to get a cutback and go for a better exit, although I got a bit too greedy. Unfortunately for me, too much speed on the exit it. Very easy mistake to make here at uh, Nürburgring. Just <laughs> clipping the gravel trap. So many cars have ended up. Just All we have to do is just brush across the gravel trap. It kills all of your momentum down this straight. Now, it's not a completely inassailable lead, but it's uh, a lot of track that I now need to uh, try and make up. But, of course, third place was now not quite so far behind. 
I did, though, make up that ground as we came onto the final lap. I was right there on the bumper of the white Porsche. Again, a pair of us had pulled a quite large gap back to the field behind, but I was struggling to find a way past. I'd been consistently quicker through the S's, and in fact, I was absolutely flying in terms of lap time. For whatever reason, this circuit and this car was uh, really working for me, being the quickest car out here by a fair margin, but trying to get passes done was proving difficult, as it often can be in these single-make races. Didn't try the around-the-outside manoeuvre, didn't quite get as greedy on the throttle this time. I knew where the most likely place was to be. I've been good under brakes into this chicane all at race. The white car goes defensive as I would expect him to. It was time for some bravery around the outside of the first part, but there was always going to be an ever decreasing gap. He never expected me to be able to hold my car on the outside and kind of ended up coming across. There was, yeah, it was, it was kind of always driving into a closing gap. I tag the back of the car, lift off the throttle. He gets away with only a little bit of oversteer. It was worth a try. It was about the last chance I had, the last attempt that uh, could be be made. Couldn't quite get the victory in all of that, but uh, yeah, had a very, very exciting, exciting race indeed. It was a, yeah, really, really good fun battle. For the podium, it would be a random demon that would take victory. I throw everything at him, but just couldn't find a way past. Would have to settle for second, while Tom Whitty would be in third place. A little bit more of a lonely race for the third position. Our final race, and we would head to Laguna Seca. A better starting, well, I say a better starting position for me. Better starting position than at uh, Yaz, and I think every car had loaded in for me this time around. Unfortunately, though, not for the vehicles around. As we head in towards this uh, turn one, I was kind of happy to try to go around the outside as uh, cars sort of start checking up. It wasn't the, the right lane to take, essentially. Vehicles running around on the inside uh, were getting a bit more a bit more speed. I lose a couple of positions in all of that, but... Uh, you kind of got to be a little bit patient. You've got to be very patient in some in some respects at the start of the race. Yeah, you might lose a couple of positions from a dodgy corner, but a couple of good corners and you can uh, catch back up. But of course, it's very easy to throw away a lot of positions. There is a, a grey car on my outside as we uh, we were sort of swapping and changing what side of the road we wanted to be on. I get a better run up the hill. In fact, the grey car from trying to overtake on me ends up losing a further position behind <laughs> the top of the hill. There it is, a big train of cars. Someone out in the dirt kicking up that, uh, that sand. Not an ideal position as we head up towards the corkscrew. <laughs> I am uh, making it known that I'm going to be going defensive up to uh, here. The black Porsche is quite slow through that uh, section as we try to give each other space. There's a little bit of a banging of doors down through the uh, corkscrew. The black car on the outside of the end has to yield and you're going to get a little bit steam trained if you're not careful when you get stuck out wide on a particular corner. When you've got groups of cars like this, you know, the early stage of the race and in, in one make races, it's very easy for a whole pile of cars to uh, come flying past. As the race, well, they started to uh, settle down, it was still a big group of cars fighting up towards the front. Me, uh, thoroughly involved, trying to uh, find a way into fifth place around the outside of turn one. Not quite going to uh, do the trick. I still get a good run off of the turn, but the white car is uh, going to position himself, make it very difficult for me to find a way past. I've got the speed in the vehicle, but I can't quite get the positioning. And again, as I saw at Nürburgring, it can be, uh, I say, frustrating. It's, it's good fun, but trying to get these passes to a stick is not always the easiest. Again, up the inside towards this next corner, there's a little bit of uh, paint swapping going on from the vehicles ahead, finally able to uh, get a better exit alongside. In the end, the white car not quite got the uh, drive up towards the top of the hill. One <laughs> the purple cars up ahead, wheel on the sand. Again, another place, much like Nürburgring, that gravel trap can slow you down. At that particular section of the track, a number of cars were running wide wheels on the uh, on the sand there will cost them time as we head down the corkscrew. for the car in second and got everything wrong on the way in. That had uh, put him in a bit of a bother, so that's three places for me in almost as many corners, although would then immediately become undone. A wheel on the sand in the braking zone. Didn't quite lose the back end, just did enough to get me sideways, did enough to uh, slow me down, and that would drop me back into the fourth place. There was a blue car having a look going around the outside at the final hairpin, but couldn't quite uh, make that one stick. So I would continue to look for a way past third place. Again, had pretty good speed with the K. I wasn't quite as strong here as I had been at Nürburgring, but uh, yeah, we're still 
relatively, relatively fast all over the back of the car ahead as we head up towards the corkscrew. Now I have got it alongside. Unfortunately, that particular uh, white Porsche was suffering from, first of all, a little bit of the jittery lag that you see going on. It makes it quite difficult to uh, figure out where the hell it is. The bigger problem, though, would be that uh, the blue car that had been following me through the field uh, wasn't visible for the white car. He had no idea. There was, you, know, you can see where the player was, thanks to the weird multiplayer glitch that uh, goes on and that is a problem when you come into the braking zone he can't see the car that he then punts into the back of me but I can and that puts me very sideways a fight to try and get control of the vehicle the white car comes past not knowing what has uh, what has gone on there uh, there's another car lining up to get a pass on me uh, this is still a big train of cars that uh, we had going on here is around the outside into turn one that I think about having a go there's a little bit of lag again going on with that uh, inside line <laughs> a whiteboard managed just to sneak past purple cars having some of that uh, slight blinky issues uh, it's all getting quite crazy at this point we were fairly sure that everything was going to end in tears when you've got five cars often jittering around slightly, one of them not able to see the other, uh, all trying their <laughs> best to fight for position. The purple car ends up out in the sand. At some point, I believe the purple car was trying to guide the white vehicle as to where the invisible cars were around him. It kind of worked-ish, but I uh, didn't realise until a little bit too late what was going on, and it's very hard to relay instructions like that. I got shuffled back through all of this, but did still have a lap to uh, try and make up any uh, ground that I could. But it would be, uh, well, rather limited in terms of opportunity. With the white car still blinking around, it was always likely to be a tough ask to try and find a way past. Third had managed to escape this group, the uh, yellow Porsche, able to get just to the front. If you could get out of this group, then things were okay. I could probably run faster, but when you're stuck in it, it's very, very tough. With the uh, white car making the same mistake that I had, with a wheel on the grass, getting the vehicle very sideways. He's incredibly defensive into that uh, final corner. The only option I have is to uh, go for a cutback across that turn. I would manage to outdrag him to the line. I will be perfectly honest, I'm not sure. I was going to look at the replays if I had my car all on the track or not there. Not 100% sure. thought I did, but uh, I might have jumped it up. Yeah, I'd have to look at the replay. Uh, either way, Impego would take a victory. Uh, EBR Liam T second with THR Aston Ash in third there. The Caymans proved to be a lot of fun. Caymans proved to be an awful lot of fun. They will not perhaps suit everybody in terms of their handling. Uh, you can get them out of shape. They can get a little bit on the uh, sketchy side at times, especially under heavy acceleration and nasty crests and nasty curbs, etc. On the whole, though, as a sort of single make race car, they were, yeah, excellent. Despite Forza doing its utmost to screw us over in these with vehicles not appearing on each other's screens with laggy cars and laggy starts and whatnot we still had some really rather incredible racing and i apologize to the guys you know who might be further back or further out in front who we didn't get to see were having fantastic battles as well i was involved in plenty of action this time around it could have easily have been me at the front that drove away from the field almost did at nurburgring silly mistake from me in the end uh, costing that particular chance but uh, yeah i i really like i really like the cayman i think it was uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun to drive won't suit everybody but uh, yeah certainly made for some very exciting racing that though is going to be it for this week's video the next one is or the next versus community is going to be held on thursday the 2nd of november we are going to go racing with c-class suvs it should be uh, interesting to see how uh, how those big old vehicles go uh, go racing we'll see how many fall over if you want to sign up and take part in that you can via our forums there'll be a link in the description find the ferris versus the community section and you will be able to sign up in there however that's gonna be it from me thank you very much for watching and until next time uh goodbye <laughs>